used to be a Power Ranger in a former life. We're at the uh, Sierra Lakes Golf Club here in Fontana, and you can see behind me there still are detectives and crime scene technicians on the scene here. They're uh, continuing to process evidence here, uh, but beginning to wrap up their investigation. What we can tell you now, what we confirm is that an off-duty law enforcement officer was terrorizing people on the golf course here. Uh, police confronted him, uh, they shot, and we can confirm now that he died at a local hospital. Now this all started around 4 p.m. yesterday. Let me show you some pictures from Sky 5 HD. Uh, and you can see that the shooting took place right next to a golf cart on the golf course here. Uh, authorities tell us the whole thing started with a 911 call. Somebody reported that this man had gotten into an argument at his home, which is nearby. A relative called dispatchers to say that the guy was distraught, that he'd been drinking, he'd fired shots into the wall of the home, and that he'd walked out of the house carrying two guns. Na, 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 na. <laughs> the man was an off-duty Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy. Witnesses say when he left his home, he walked onto the golf course here and fired multiple shots. Police showed up here. They tried to stop the guy. He did not surrender peacefully. The story that we're hearing from Fontana officers is that the man raised his weapon at police. <laughs> he was taken to the hospital where he died. Now, people who saw him here just before he was shot say that he seemed to be having a mental breakdown. I'm a bad boy. Uh, he was in the house um, arguing or talking to someone inside, shot at the wall, and then took off, ran into the golf club and then a golf course and started shooting. I'm going to pump you full of lead. Scaring the golfers. <laughs> um, it, it was bad. It's bad. So it seems like that mental health is real. Um, he lost this lost this edge and he, and and just started shooting up in the neighborhood I, this is very shocking to me <laughs> again uh, police officers on the scene here confirming that the man who was shot uh, was and shot and killed here was a los angeles county sheriff's deputy uh, they don't have his name yet they haven't released his name but uh, they say he appeared to be in his 40s in this day and age qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to u.s citizens there is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.